Hi everyone, I'm Shaylin here with Read Z. So today we're going to be talking about how to write themes into your novel. Theme can be one of those somewhat amorphous, slippery ideas of writing that can be really hard to grasp because it's not something more concrete or technical like structure. It's the ideas woven throughout your story. In fact, what theme is, is the central idea underlying a story. It can either be a message or statement. So for example, your theme might be a statement like, greed is the most destructive force in human society. And your story would be both exploring and kind of solidifying this point. Or it might be more of a general abstract idea, a concept like loss, betrayal, love, family, or justice, which is explored throughout the story in various ways. Themes are something not all readers look for and not not all readers will pick up on, but they do add a level of depth and cohesion to a story. Themes also make the specifics of your story feel universal, even if the reader isn't consciously picking up on that theme. While the main character of your story is a specific individual with a story and life circumstances that likely are unique to them and maybe not all readers can relate to, the ideas within the story speak to broader themes that we can all understand and relate to. Even the most peculiar stories can feel universal through their theme. Even if we would share nothing in common with the protagonist, even if it's set on a completely alien world, we can find these connection points or feelings of universality through the themes. Themes can also be used as thought experiments, a sort of what-if scenario about human nature, where the characters are imagined case studies for human behavior. By the end, we're able to draw a certain conclusion about how a human would react in this situation and what that might say about humanity at large. So for example, in Lord of the Flies, the story asks what would happen if a group of boys were stranded on an island where they had to create their own micro-society. And through the different characters, the story presents the idea that if isolated from society, human beings will cease to act morally. The different experiences of the various characters all round out this idea of how complex morality is and the violence that people are capable of. And the theme could even be considered a force of tension in the story, as it poses questions about the lengths these characters will go to with in their own violence, and this question propels the story forward. So how do you actually write themes into your story? It's one thing to know what the theme is and say, okay, this is the theme of my story, but how do you actually weave it into the narrative? Here are six steps you can follow to implement themes into your story. Step number one, let the themes evolve naturally. I think trying to shoehorn a theme can make the theme seem very blatant and just too in the reader's face. Ideally, themes feel like a natural component of the story that emerge because of the events taking place rather than vice versa. You don't want the story to feel manufactured just in order to shoehorn in a certain theme. There are certainly cases where you might have a theme you want to explore in the story emerges from that. But personally, I wouldn't force the theme. If going into your story, you have an idea for the concept, you have an idea for the character, but you don't know the theme, I would say don't worry about it. It's almost inherent that themes will evolve naturally. So just write your story and see which themes emerge and that you can refine later rather than feeling like you have to know the theme from the get-go. Plenty of writers don't and that's okay. In fact, a lot of the time, the most natural, organic, and subtle use of theme is when we let it evolve naturally. Step number two, start with broad themes and then specify them. I think it's easiest to start with one word themes before you start specifying them into more of a statement. There are many general themes that are written about time and time again. Common ones would be things like love, power, family, childhood, identity, friendship. These are usually much easier to identify than your story's specific hypothesis. So I think it helps to identify these broad themes first and then the longer you write, slowly solidify that into maybe a more specific theme or a longer statement. Step three, use the form to reflect the theme. Theme is woven into the story, but it can also be reflected in the form of the story. I think that when considering what form your story is going to take, so things like the point of view or tense, even the structure or any experimental element that you might use, these can be manifestations of the theme. For example, you might write something in second person because the story is about facing culpability. So the main character is speaking directly to themselves, accusing themselves even, in order to force themselves to face their culpability of what has occurred within the story. If one of the main themes of your story is memory, then it would make sense to write it in past tense in potentially quite a non-linear fractured way that reflects the messy, tangled, and sometimes inaccurate way that we remember things. Step four, look at your protagonist's arc. 
a lot of the time the theme will be rooted in your protagonist's arc and your protagonist's change will be kind of the most clear way that the theme manifests in the story. Look at the contrast between where your character is at the beginning of their journey versus who they are at the end. In all likelihood, this change speaks to the themes of the story. So if you're trying to identify the theme and you're not sure what the specific theme of your story is, look first at your character's change and development over time. The way the story has changed them is often the clearest way that the story speaks the theme to the reader. Step five, make sure the story actually supports the theme. You want to make sure that what happens in your story actually supports the theme rather than contradicts it. It can be possible to have an idea for the theme, but then as you write the story, what occurs in the actual events actually contradicts the theme. Say the theme was something like love conquers all, but throughout the story, connections between characters who love each other are continually broken by outside forces. Your story is actually contradicting the theme, so you might actually need to rethink the theme. If the ending of your story especially contradicts the core theme of the book, or there are tangents or ideas explored throughout that contradict the core theme of the book, you may need to either restore the story or rethink the theme, depending on which is most important for you. And finally, step number six, refine the themes. As you go throughout the process of revising your book, the themes will clarify more and more. You'll continually have more insights about the theme of your book and be able to further refine the story in order to reflect those themes and make sure that the story is actually creating a cohesive thematic statement. Theme doesn't have to be your primary concern. For many people, it's not their primary concern, but it is something that will come up throughout the revision process that will clarify with every draft you do you'll probably learn more about the theme. So that's something you can continue to refine throughout the different layers of revision. So thank you so much for watching. What would you say is a recurring theme in your work? I think for me, a very recurring theme in my work is kind of power dynamics within families is something that I find coming up within my work. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos from us. We've got new writing, editing, and publishing tips every Tuesday and Friday. Until next time, bye.